This video will cover the topic, Rationalizing Denominator, Quotient Involving Square Roots. In these types of problems, we are asked to rationalize the denominator and simplify. Let's take a look at the first problem we will be working through. We are asked to rationalize the denominator of the expression 9 over the square root of 2. Before we start, what exactly does it mean to rationalize the denominator? That's a great question. To rationalize the denominator means to rewrite the fraction without a radical in the denominator. In our case, this means that the denominator is irrational whenever there is a square root in it. Our goal is to rationalize our denominator, which means that we need to multiply our denominator by a value in order to obtain an integer. In this case, to get rid of the square root in our denominator, we would need to multiply the denominator by square root of 2. We cannot simply multiply the denominator of our fraction by square root of 2, as this would change the value of the fraction. Since we multiply the denominator by square root of 2, we must also multiply our numerator by square root of 2. We can do this because of the identity property of multiplication, which says that any value multiplied by 1 is equal to itself. An example of this would be a times 1 equals a or 3 times 1 equals 3. The square root of 2 over the square root of 2 is equal to 1, so the identity property of multiplication holds here. Okay, so we can multiply by square root 2 over square root 2 because it's equal to 1 and any number times 1 is equal to itself. Since we are only multiplying by 1, we're not changing the value of the number. Yes, that's exactly right. Now we can multiply. Our expression becomes 9 times the square root of 2 over the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. 9 times the square root of 2 equals 9 square root of 2. And square root of 2 times square root of 2 equals 2. This means that our final answer is 9 square root of 2 over 2. We can see that there is no longer a square root in our denominator, and instead we have an integer in our denominator meaning that our denominator is rationalized. Okay, so in order to rationalize the denominator containing a square root, we must multiply the denominator by a value from which we obtain an integer. According to the identity property of multiplication, we must multiply the denominator and the numerator by this value. This is the same as multiplying by 1, which does not change the value of the expression. After all of this, if the denominator is no longer a radical, but is an integer instead, we've successfully rationalized our denominator. Yes, that's exactly right. Great work.